Jesus said, from the beginning of creation, God created them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. I was very honored and flattered, but fearful, I should tell you, because this isn't just an ordinary wedding for me. This is the, the wedding of my grandson. But um, I was asked to do the wedding, and in my heart, I couldn't turn them down. But the truth of the matter is, and the thing that I want you all to understand is, that in the Catholic Church, the priest does not do the wedding. It is one of the few sacraments that is not given by the priest, but by the couple themselves. They are the ones who make this the commitment to one another. They are the ones who become the people who make that choice and make those promises and pledges. And we priests, what we do is witness it. The truth of the matter is that each bride, each groom, brings into a marriage their own unique qualities. And somehow or another, it becomes something perfect. With God's blessing. Congratulations. Lydia was and is one of the kindest, most understanding, supportive, actually I can't even put into words and articulate how much she means to me and how much love I have for her. Lydia has someone who no matter what will love her and accept her for who she is 100%. He'll never let her down. It is my pleasure to have such a great man not only make my sister the happiest, I've ever seen her in her life, but a man who I'm truly grateful to now call my brother-in-law. I think my sister deserves all the happiness in the world. Even as her sister with really high standards for what is good enough, it's easy to see that Steve gives her everything that she's always deserved and he's her Prince Charming. Hi, Steven. Take you, Lydia, to be my wife. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Hi, Lydia. <laughs> Take you, Stephen, to be my husband. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I'm so happy to welcome Stephen into our family. We love you, Stephen. I know I've teased you over the years about taking her off my hands, <laughs> but seriously, I feel truly blessed that you are about to become part of our lives. Thank you for being kind, caring, and non judgmental. Thank you for making my lovely daughter, Lydia, the happiest I've ever seen her. I wish you both all the best as you go forward as husband and wife to start your new lives together. Please raise your glass and join me in a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Brockoff, to Stephen and Lydia. Cheers. the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined, men must not divide. And we all answer, amen. Amen. And maybe a big round of applause. Wouldn't be appropriate. <laughs>